And let me help, you know, I'm, I'm zooming out, just checking this out. Let's make a new snapshot called new two. You too can be new. You too, new. All right. And uh, go to our history palette, scroll up, choose new two as our source. And grab our history brush. Change the mode to multiply, opacity, 15%. And let's paint right here to help the little boy not look so underexposed and flat. So I'm, I'm being careful around his face. but helping them. Help, help. That's what a retoucher does. The retoucher doesn't change, the retoucher helps. Now I go to screen mode for my history brush. Screen mode. And just lighten up the important parts of the face just a wee bit. And let's try that. That's, that's a little extreme, Eric. Weird. When it starts looking weird, undo it. Yeah, it's looking weird. That's looking weird. Okay, let's do this one. Get his eyes a little more. Get his eyelid here, eyelid here, eye here. Touch her eye there. Oop, sorry, she's, ouch. She's looking over, come on children, smile. Um, all right, so there you have it. So, before, after, before, after, well, that was the, that was the revision. There you have it. There you have it. Wow. Well, what do you, you know, what do you think of that picture? That one, yeah. What do you think? Sometimes, you know, you got to work with what you have. I could do better. I could do more. I'm trying it quick. The kind of restoration I... I personally like to work on, uh, sometimes, you know, there's others that I work with and there's, their style is different, but the one that I do, I try to maintain, especially the original grain, um, and, and realism, you know, but try to make it look like new. And so I think, I think, you know, this picture looks like new again. You know, as fuzzy as it was when it was printed. <laughs> when, it, when it first came out of the fuzzy printer. Well, this will, I think, be about it for tonight. I see no questions. I have no calls, no comments. I am uh, going to refresh the Twitter stream and uh, the chat room. I don't see any questions. So that means that you all know exactly what to do with your photos and I think that's great so my job is uh, pretty much taken care of <laughs> thank you so much for uh, joining us can't wait to have you back I would like and appreciate your questions as you know we are airing at this time at on Friday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern 8 p.m. Central Seven Mountain, six uh, Pacific. I think I got that. And then all the way around the globe at different times. So, uh, you know, I should be on somewhere at some time. And, of course, if you're watching this on demand, then you really should, uh, uh, you know, you'll be able to rewind and, 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 and jump around and, I would really appreciate your feedback, um, especially with the Photographics University Live page, which I have uh, put on here. Uh, it's right at photographics.pro. Uh, as soon as you, as soon as you get to uh, the site, you'll see live classes right here. I notice it's missing the uh, elephant up here. I think I. I need to fix that. So let me put that on screen for you so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, right here is the page, and there you see 
the uh, echo in video of what I'm doing. Apparently one viewer, I am the viewer. Fantastic, at least I'm watching myself. And to me, that's progress. I like myself, Why settle for and bread? I will uh, surely, um, these are the ads that keep the, the broadcast uh, free. So while this ad is running, you'll eventually catch up with me. I am so glad to have you, and I think we're going to wrap it up right here while things are good, and while everyone's happy and comfortable, and I have not yet lost my voice well, hopefully not lost you as a loyal uh, viewer, customer, student. Adios, God bless, and we shall see each other next time if I wake up in the morning and you as well.